Hello everyone, this is Crypto Dreamer here with a video about WorldCoin. This thing's been taken off in many exchanges and I think that you guys need to know the information I'm ready to present to you. Introducing WorldCoin according to their website. More than three years ago, we founded WorldCoin with the ambition of creating a new identity and financial network owned by everyone. The rollout begins today. If successful, we believe WorldCoin would drastically increase the economic opportunity, scale a reliable solution for distinguishing humans from AI online while preserving privacy, enable global democratic processes, and eventually show a potential path to AI funded UBI. Universal based income. This thing has been talked about here recently because if technology expands to the point that things like chat GPT or robotics progress, we could be actually obsolete. Um, we would no longer be necessary for production of goods or many businesses. It's a huge concern, but still got a little time, so don't sweat it. Universal-based income would basically give everyone allowance so that they wouldn't have to stress about all this. Um, they'd have income and be able to have family and all the other stuff, be able to pay bills. WorldCoin consists of a privacy-preserving digital identity, World ID, and where laws allow, not U.S., a digital currency, WLD, received simply for being human, we hope that where the rules are less clear, such as the U.S., steps will be taken so more people can benefit from both. You can now download World App, the first protocol-capable wallet, and reserve your share. After visiting or a biometric verification device, you will receive a World ID. This lets you prove you are a real and unique person online while remaining completely private. As the global distribution of Warps is ramping up, you can find their closest one and book time to be verified with World App and at worldcoin.org. Worldcoin is an attempt of global scale alignment. The journey will be challenging and the outcome is uncertain, but finding new ways to broadly share coming technological prosperity is crucial challenge of our time. We hope you will join us. Alex Blaine and Sam Alt. Coin Market Cap has a ton of information that I think will be valuable for this video. The highest point I see is $3.31. Current is $2.11 with the low of $1.91. As you can see, tons of exchanges have taken this token. It's pretty famous now. I mean, this thing basically hit overnight and everyone's making videos on it. The community of users will determine the token's utility, but a few other use cases in addition to governance could emerge. For example, users may be able to decide to use their WLD token to pay for a certain actions in the world app or another wallet app to make other payments or to signal their approval for certain initiatives or causes. WLD is an ERC20 token on Ethereum. Remember that. Individuals will receive their user grants on Optimism mainnet. Therefore, most WLD transactions will likely take place on the Optimism net. Who are the founders? WorldCoin was founded by Sam Altman, Alex Blaina, and Mats Novodinstern. Mats Novodinstern left the project July 2021, two years ago. The most well-known of the co-founders is Sam Altman. He's also the co-founder of the, and current CEO of OpenAI and former president of Y. Combinator, a startup incubator, initial research and development for the WorldCoin project was conducted by Tools for Humanity, TFH, and other partners. WorldCoin has raised over 250 million USD across several funding rounds from investors such as AA1620, Colossal Ventures, Bain Capital Crypto, Blockchain Capital, and Tiger Global, among others. Something's not mentioned here, but I'll bring to your attention shortly. WorldCoin aims to build the world's largest identity and financial network, achieving truly global adoption at a billion people scale. In contrast to most other crypto projects, the majority of WLD tokens will be given to individuals simply for being human. Using World ID, individuals will be able to prove that they are real, unique humans to any platform that integrates with the protocol, including Web3 systems, social networking sites, the governmental programs. They have aspirations to work with the government, something you might want to be aware of. I mean, it could be very profitable and it could also be very detrimental to decentralization. Just be aware. I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. Please do your own research. Don't trust the guy on YouTube. Do your own thing. This will enable fair airdrops or token slash NFT sales, provide protection against bots, cyber attacks on social media, and enable fair distribution of limited governmental resources. Furthermore, World ID can also enable global democratic processes and novel forms of governance, and it may eventually support a path to 
AI-funded UBI. Over 2 million people in more than 30 different countries across from five continents have been verified at the orb during the pre-launch phase, which lasted from May 2021 until July 2023. At launch, WorldCoin begins to roll out 1,500 orbs across over 35 cities in over 20 countries to meet the global demand of World ID. So notice it says cities. It's not saying small towns or anything. This is anything you can just run down the street to. The initial total supply of WorldCoin is 10 billion WLD. For 15 years following the launch, the supply has been fixed at 10 billion WLD, enforced by the WLD smart contract. After 15 years, governments may decide to implement an inflation rate of up to 1.5%. Per year, if deemed necessary for the long-term sustainability of the protocol, governors will also be decided on how to allocate the newly minted tokens, if any. The inflation cap of 1.5% per year is enforced by WLD smart contract. Per default, unless changed via governance, the inflation rate is set for 0%. I prefer 0%, but... With the global scale, you might need more. The 10 billion WLD tokens are allocated to different stakeholders as follows. 75% of the WLD tokens are allocated to the WorldCoin community. 9.8% of the WLD tokens are allocated to the initial development team. 13.5% of the WLD tokens are allocated to TFH investors. Tools for Humanity investors. To the Tools for Humanity Reserve. Here's a nice chart for you to be able to see kind of the proportions of each one. I'd also like to make sure you guys understand that only 1.11% of the supply is in circulation right now, which means as things are released, it will dilute your value of what you have. It's just something to keep an eye out. The total supply is going to be 10 billion, so unless inflation hits, which will be voted on, apparently. So we stated earlier that this is on the ERC20 Ethereum. And just so happens, Buterin has actually commented on some concerns he has. Buterin, co-founder of Ethereum, has raised concerns about WorldCoin's identity verification solution, citing the issues related to privacy, accessibility, centralization, and security. WorldCoin's proof of personhood, POP, you know me, system is designated to verify a user's unique identity in a decentralized manner using an application and device name or that scans the user's eyes to confirm their humanity and uniqueness. If someone conducts an eye scan, they could potentially check the database to see if you have a world ID, thereby revealing more information than intended. And that's a concern. Accessibility issues. Buterin highlights accessibility issues known that users must physically access the orb device to participate in the system. The requirement could create an inequality world coin distribution and disproportionately benefit urban centers. Like I said, if you're in the woods, how are you going to find an orb? Obviously, this would be a huge task to put on every block, but it is a fact that accessibility could be an issue. He argues that integrity of the orb hardware device cannot be verified, potentially allowing for backdoors. We've had this issue with backdoors when it comes to Ledger. Ledger said that there wasn't a way to access the seed phrase, and now we know that there is a way and you can actually sign up to have it distributed. This is a current widely concerned thing when it comes to backdoors. Even if the software layer is decentralized, the WorldCoin Foundation could create a backdoor and generate fake IDs. Furthermore, Buterin points out the security risks such as phone hacking, forced eye scanning for others, renting identities, and creating 3D prints of fake humans. Seems outrageous, the idea of 3D prints of fake humans. But... If this thing actually takes off and makes tons of money, it would be pretty common because where there's opportunity to make money, people will jump on it. He even proposed a solution. And seeing as that, you know, WLDs on their ERC, you'd think that they'd take advice from him. I mean, it's me being as a YouTuber, I have to take criticism and be able to dissect criticism for the information that I need to be successful. This should be interesting. To mitigate these risks, Buterin proposes a combined approach involving social graph, general hardware biometric, and a special hardware biometric techniques. This combination could create a decentralized, scalable system that ensures privacy and prevents the creation of fake identities. However, no response to Buterin's criticism has been received from WorldCoin or Sam Altman, the co-founder of WorldCoin. This is really not excusable because... This man is nearly a genius in the industry, and they're not taking his free advice, his free concern. 
You can't tell me they haven't seen it. I just don't understand. The project's core offering is the World ID, which is the company describes as a digital passport to prove that the holder is a real human, not an AI bot. To get a World ID, a customer signs up to do an in-person iris scan using the World Coins Orb, a silver ball approximately the size of a bowling ball. Once the Orb's iris scan verifies the person is a real human, it creates the World ID. The company behind WorldCoin is San Francisco and Berlin-based Tools for Humanity. The project has 2 million users from the beta period, and with Monday's launch, WorldCoin is scaling up Orbing operations to 35 cities and 20 countries. As an enticement, those who sign up certain countries will receive WorldCoin cryptocurrency world token. That's the concern is this isn't going to be beneficial for everyone. This is for people that are close, which is what Buterin was trying to say. Blockchains can store world IDs in a way that preserves privacy and can't be controlled or shut down by any single entity, co-founder at Spelina told Reuters. The project says world IDs will be necessary in the age of generative AI chatbots such as ChatGPT, which produce remarkably human-like language. World IDs could use to tell the difference between real people and AI bots online. If you look at online, social networks, and everything, there's tons of bots. This could be a great tool for that, assuming that everything works wonderfully. Omen told readers, WorldCoin has also helped address how the economy will be reshaped by generative AI. There was recently a concern when it came to, says that somebody has been deploying massive number of Gnostic safes to optimism. Not sure why. Each account has done 10K to 15K transactions in the last week, most of which are deploying a new safe. Just so you guys are aware. The safe, previously known as Nosset Safe, Nosset Safe is a multi-signature smart contract wallet. It is often used by development teams to ensure the multiple team members must sign off on each transaction that spends funds held in a common or that upgrade an app. Safes are also used in some newer customer wallets that employ account abstractions, such as the ones provided gas-free transactions. WorldCoin is known extensively uses safes as it offers gas-free transactions to verified humans. The WorldCoin team recently announced that it was migrating its app to po- from Polygon to Optimism. Over the course of six days, from June 21st to June 27th, Optimism address created more than 50 sub-accounts each of which performed between 10,000 and 15,000 transactions, most of which created new safe wallets. In the morning of June 26, on-chain researcher Spleek Sprick knows the strange transaction and reported them to the community through Twitter thread. It's great that we can get information so quickly. After less than an hour of speculation, Tools for Humanity Seda revealed what was really going on. Less than an hour. Resharing Spreak's original post, he stated, deploying more safe steady lads implying the transactions were in fact caused by WorldCoin migration. It's kind of a red flag that they're already migrating and it's just basically being rolled out right now. Earlier I discussed that there's investors in this. I mean, VC kind of has to be done in order to make such a widespread on all its changes. Crypto. Sam Bankman fried that's crypto millionaire, once celebrated his philanthropy and savvy investing is back in the spotlight after OpenAI CEO Sam Altman launched his ambitious WorldCoin token on Monday. It shouldn't be such a surprise because he threw money around like it was going out style, like he he was just burning it every direction. It doesn't surprise me that he invested in this. He invested in tons of things. You need to know these things. What does the orb look like? Well, it's like this and this, just different angles. I think Buterin's concerns were very valid. I do not like how it could be taken advantage of people. I do not trust the security of this thing. I don't like giving personal information about myself that we're not really prepared to fully secure and doesn't seem like I'm prepared to make an investment in such risk. It seems like an invasion of privacy that is unnecessary at this time and moment. I do not like that there's a 1.11% circulating supply and that everything could be diluted. There just seems to be too much risk. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me what you think. I'm not a big fan of them working with government agencies. It's a moneymaker, so I know a ton of you might love it. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and if you would, check out this video. Thank you.